Okay, our second season as Chelsea manager officially begins. Now, in season one, we claimed the 10th trophy of our career, winning the Premier League, while also breaking Arsenal's invincible record. But for all that success, we failed in the domestic cups and also the Champions League. Now, this season, the pressure is on. Chelsea owner Todd Bowley demands more trophies. He's given us a large budget to use, and our goal this year is to win the Champions League. And if we fail, we all know what will happen. So, new season. Of course, we've got new kits, and we got big plans in mind. So, drop a like if you want to keep Keep seeing daily episodes of this series and let's get back into it so right now we're waking up in our house in london the start of a new season and we're very excited about the possibilities this year and we're also ready to get to work so we wake up we go down and get some breakfast we say hi to fergie and then we get to our office and as we log on to our computer we see breaking news erling holland is holding a press conference and holland says due to man city not being in the champions league this year he's putting in a transfer request and says he'll be leaving manchester city okay this changes everything but first comment sign julian alvarez for the striker position and change formation to 4-3-3. Yeah, so the plan this year is to go back to the 4-3-3 and sign a new starting striker. And while I do like Julian Alvarez, I feel like he's kind of like Nkunku, you know? I think we need someone a bit taller, a more traditional striker. Now, next one, Norway's got a lot of potential. And besides that, who doesn't love a great underdog story of Norway winning major trophies? Yeah, so this is about us maybe potentially managing a national team, maybe managing Norway. Now, the Euros are at the end of this season and I want to coach in that tournament. So I believe we've narrowed it down to Portugal and Norway. So when the time comes for us to choose, we'll definitely do a vote. But it seems like those are the two choices. Now, last one, here are the strikers that I think can work. Vlaovic, Osman, or Zhao Felix. Yeah, all three of those would be very good options like Osman or Vlaovic. Now, I don't know about Felix, but it might not actually be our decision to make. As we meet with Chelsea owner Todd Bowley, and he said he wants to sign Erling Holland, and we have a real chance of getting him. Although, there are more teams in the race. Now, Holland's gonna take his time deciding on his future, so it might be a bit of a transfer saga, but that is a striker that Todd Bowley wants. But officially, welcome to Chelsea Season 2. So last year, we went invincible in the Prem with this 3-4-3, but I feel like to win the Champions League, we need to go back to our bread and butter 4-3-3 defense. Of course, same system where we won the Champions League with Ajax. This season, we're switching to this. So the main change is Nkunku is now a central attacking midfielder. I think with his defending and physical stats, we need him down the middle. He could play on the wing if we need him to. We could play like Nkunku on the wing and then could play like Pogba at Cam. We could also do that. But although I like Nicholas Jackson, our transfer strategy is to sign a new starting striker, a star striker, and also a new left back. Because Ben Chilwell, he's 30 years old. Now that's not the oldest, but he's already starting to decline. He's going to be an 82 overall soon. And I do like him a lot more than Cucurella. So we're going to try to sell Cucurella and use that money along with our budget we already have to sign a new starting striker and also sign a new starting left back and you guys might have saw this already but some of our former players have made some big moves so first up Tago Almada from Ajax has now gone to Real Madrid talk about a big move Kyle George the Brazilian Ronaldo went to Bayern Munich and then yes Sammy Jorgensen has gone to Barcelona replacing Lewandowski so Holland is Boley's number one target and we have to wait for him to make a decision he's gonna take his time okay kind of funny Ajax want to sign a Cucurella I mean hey since they're our former team we'll work with them I do want to try to get like maybe 40 8.5 because Holland, we don't know how expensive he's going to be. We need to make sure we're ready for that. And they accept 48.5 million. And then the talks have broken down. Great. But now Leverkusen want Brian Brobby. Now, Brobby was so good in that first little season at Ajax. And he has scored some big goals for us at Chelsea, but I feel like he hasn't been quite as good since then. And honestly, I think I'd rather keep Jackson over Brobby, so we might try and sell Brobby again. This would be for the second time. He's not going to like us, but uh, Leverkusen want him. He could probably start for them, and we'll see if he accepts that deal. Okay, for the second time in this journeyman series, we have sold Brobby, this time by our choice. Last time he wanted to go to Chelsea, this time we're actually selling him. It's unfortunate, but it's a business of football. Okay, now Manchester City want Cucurella for 44.4 million. Now, if we can work with Man City, maybe they'll help us in like the Holland negotiations. So we probably should actually work with them. And we'll see if a Cucurella goes to Man City. Okay, that was quick. Cucurella is going to Manchester City. Okay, so we worked with them. So if Holland, he chooses us, Man City should work with us to get the Holland deal done. We've shown some good faith here, but Cucurella has been officially sold. So now we need a new left back. And we got almost 300 million to spend now. So my two left back targets. First was Nuno Mendes from PSG, and the second one was Teo Hernandez from AC Milan. Now, Teo Hernandez would only be like 15 million more than Nuno Mendes, and he's three ratings higher. I mean, he's six foot, he's tall, he's got pace, he's got really good technical stats. He's probably the best left back option left in the game right now. So the plan is, chill out of the bench, and then Hernandez becomes a starter. Now, I'm gonna start with 80 million. Start 80, see what they say to that. It's under his value, but apparently we can get him for less than that. They want 97.6. Okay, that's kind of a lot. Uh, let's do 92.5. We'd probably be good on that. So basically, for the price of Robbie Cucurella, we have now maybe signed up Teo Hernandez. I would say that's some decent business. And like I said, I'm not sure there's a left back in the game right now. We're what, like five years in that's higher rated than Teo Hernandez. So we are pretty much signing the world's best left back. And if there's a clear in tenure, they're going for the Champions League. It is this signing right here. So Teo Hernandez is signed up to Chelsea. So first signing of our second season at Chelsea, Teo Hernandez officially welcome to the club. So now back line of Hernandez, Miller, Fofana, and Reese James. And then backups are DeSassi Chilwell. I like that a lot. Now we have a crucial meeting scheduled with Erling Holland in about a week where we can try and 
convince him to join Chelsea. But before that, we play the first game of the season. And of course, it's going to be the Community Shield against our rivals now, Manchester United. Now, they look like pretty much the same team as last year. Obviously, we look a little bit different with Hernandez, the uh, new formation change. Now, for this game, I want to play in Kukuhet Cam, and I might do just Jackson up striker for now until we sign a new striker. And then since um, Robbie's gone, Broya becomes the backup striker. And also, by the way, Javi, our 15-year-old wonder kid, is now a 16-year-old wonder kid, and he's also grown to 5'9". So he was 5'5 five, five last year. He's gained, what, four inches in height? So he's not as uh, small anymore. But before we play this game, let's show off our new kits because we have got some nice kits for season two. So that is the home kit. We have a new shirt sponsor. It's Infinite Athlete. Apparently, uh, Chelsea's supposed shirt sponsor this year. We'll get the white collar, the white trimming on the sleeves. I would say it's nice and clean, as Chelsea kits usually are. Now, that is our away kit. We've gone with a very nice, uh, nice pink. It's got some nice, like, white, light blue, and uh, navy blue trimming in the front. I mean, it pops. It stands out. Now, this third one might actually be my favorite. It's like a pale light blue within the, the dark blue sleeves and collar. I would say that's a nice combo. Got the little blue uh, stripes in the socks. That might be my new favorite kit this year. But first, game, we gotta wear the home kit. So, Teo Hernandez debut. And also, we debut our new formation. Now, we have faced Manchester United so much in this series so far, especially at Chelsea. Now, they knocked us out of the FA Cup. They beat us in the Carabao Cup final here at Wembley. And then we beat them last year to win the title and also become invincible. So, both sides have had their success. And we've gone back to our bread and butter 4-3-3. Will it work with this team, though, like it do with Ajax? There's no guarantee. But first game of the year, we're kicked off. Let's see how this new uh, setup works with Chelsea. And also, Hernandez, welcome to Chelsea. Okay, Sato out to Matueke. Matueke into Enzo Fernandez. Come on, we're looking for the first goal of the year. We're looking for the first goal of the year. This shot is going to be right at Costa, though. Man, first game of the season, I already have to try and defend Mbappe. I did it so much last year, I am sick of it. Oh, like one of those moves. You got to be kidding me, Bruno. He's looking for that pass inside. He's going to try to get it, but Miller, that is strong defending from literally the most reliable player in this whole entire series, I think. From Inter Miami to uh, Anderlecht to Ajax, everywhere he's gone, he's just been so good. Hey, Matueke tries to play to Jackson. Martinez barely got to that because I think Jackson was in there. Enzo gets it out to Foden. Foden was one of our best players last season, and this season I think it'll be no different, but that shot is right at Costa. Foden to Jackson. Jackson, good first touch. Going to try to play to Foden. Oh, that's beautiful play. Foden. And try and pass it in, but okay. Ba just literally uh, destroyed Phil Foden in that battle right there. Hey, Hernandez, a good steal. Hernandez, his first steal as a Chelsea player. He's going to be so good. I already know. Now, ball up to Nkunku. Now, at Cam, he should be still down the middle, but he's going to have more chances to uh, pass to the strikers or forwards. I'm hoping that doesn't, like, ruin his stats or make him, like, worse player, if you know what I mean. Jackson, I'm at Aweke. We've had a little bit of trouble attacking here, though. Might change now? Nope, it's not going to change now. This has been a very sloppy game from both teams. It's very much a preseason type of game. Anyway, Rashford is trying to end that. As he's going to stop, plays it back to Bruno. Bruno in to Mbappe and we were so close to him but we couldn't get the ball away from him. I'm telling you, he's just a nightmare to defend. Mbappe makes it 1-0 to Manchester United. He just takes that shot so quick we have like no chance to even think about making a tackle there. But we gotta show Holland why he should join Chelsea and not any other team. Enzo can play to Jackson here. Jackson heads it back. Oh no, I should've went to Foden. I wanted that to go to Foden. Oh man, Mbappe gets it over. Reese James good defending though. Okay, Reese James. I tried to clear that. And I don't know where the clearance went. Reese, I pressed clear and I put power on that. And it wasn't even a good clearance. It was like barely anything. Bro, I pressed clear right there. It's just a little toe poke. What a lazy clearance by Reese James, our captain. And then Sangare pounces and he's in a score. And it's 2-0 to Manchester United now. Okay, this has not been a good first half for us at all. Okay, this might get worse. No, Miller saves us and prevents it being 3-0 in the first half. That would be a nightmare. Jackson, Matueke, Matueke, he might be in here. Gazing getting caught up though. He needs help. Matueke stops. Gets it over to Nkunku. Lays it off to Enzo Fernandez. Shot and Costa makes a good save. Corner sent in. That looks good. It looks good. Fofana gets to it. Okay, 2-1. Great header by Fofana. And okay, we're right back in this game. Fofana did so well there. Okay, halftime 2-1. That's better than 2-0. Now, second half, though, I'm moving Kunku to right wing. And I'm going to put Pog back cam. I want to try that. And also, we're going to flip in Kunku and Foden. Put Foden on the right. See if that gets in Kunku like more in the game. Now, Ramirez gets into Bruno. Come on, we need a good start. Second half. That gets by Miller, though, somehow. Hernandez, your first little, okay, big little defending chance. Mbappe, look at these moves, though. How am I supposed to defend Mbappe there? The ball is glued to his feet. Someone check his boots. Bro, the ball's in, and, like, we almost, we were, like, inches away from the ball there. He still scores. Okay, Mbappe is looking even better this season than he was last season. It's 3-1. This has not been a good start at all. Oh, man, this United passing, and they are just looking different today. They look so much sharper than us. Like, Pogba is driving forward well here. Pogba gets over to Foden. Good pass. Foden can track it back to Pogba. Pogba. Chance to shoot, and Pogba scores against his former team. Okay, 3-2. Great response after conceding. Yeah, I don't know if Nkunku at left wing, Pogba at cam is better. And then Matawake on the bench is a super sub. I don't know if that's better than uh, what we started with, but Pogba, he's played so good, he's almost going to play himself into the starting 11. We got 30 minutes, and we are only a goal down now. Go it into Pogba. Pogba again. Just being the distributor. Now he's going to try to get it over to Christopher. 
And Kunku, that is good defending by Delict. Really good defending, actually. Oh my, what a pass. Tucson got a Miller, though. Miller, expert defending again. Bowden, Reese James, Reese James has Pogba, I think. Pogba is on his bicycle, goes for the shot. Oh, Pogba hits the post. That was such a good attempt. Okay, we are close to tying this up, actually. Pogba to Caicedo, Caicedo gets it up to Jackson. Jackson gets it over. Now, Reese James, I'm gonna cross it over to Christopher and Kunku. That cross is right at Costa, though. Okay, how does, why does Sanchez not come out for that? I don't know, but Hernandez just prevented a goal right there. All right, three subs. We got Mudra coming on. We got Broya coming on and also uh, Javi. For the final seven minutes, we try and tie this game up. Now, Reese James up to Broya. Broya. Oh, gets it to Pogba. Pogba outside the boot finish, and Pogba has hit the post again. You've got to be kidding me. Twice in the span of, like, what, 10 minutes? Oh, that's just so unlucky. It was such a good finish, dude. That was an outside the boot finish. Oh, man, we hit the post. Are they going to seal this game? Miller, good tackle? No, they're not. We still have a chance. It's not much of one, but we have some kind of chance to beat the ball forward. Bro, yeah, still on side. Gets it to Mudrik. Mudrik needs to get by one here. Gets it to Pogba. Pogba. Oh, he's going to lose it to, is I think, uh, Ba, and that's going to be it. Man, we could have tied it up easily. Pogba hit the post twice. From 2 no down to 3 2, I'm actually not that mad. I mean, it's only a season game it's not the biggest loss in the world united looks scary though that's the main thing i learned in this game they look scary and yeah i think i'm actually doing kunku left wing foot and right wing and then pogba cam for now because i mean if pogba's playing this well it's so hard to keep him out of the starting 11 we just need that new starting striker and speaking of that now it's time for our meeting with erling holland now holland says he wants to join a team that has a chance to win every trophy possible and we tell him of course this year we're looking to defend our premier league title and we're switching our formation to include a more traditional striker and we want you to be that striker and we say you can talk to foden going from man city to chelsea he can explain to you the environment Environment we have here the culture we have here at chelsea and holland says okay full honesty he is still gonna meet with other teams he wants to just see all his options but once he makes a decision we'll be the first to know now once again i would have liked to have a striker by now but holland is taking his time and todd Bowley only wants erling holland so we have to wait until he makes a decision and it's already time for the premier league opening day so a press conference before the first premier league game of the season and we say that we still look to be busy in the transfer market we're not done making signings but i'm also very happy with the squad and our goal is to defend our premier league title now the four through three didn't work great right in the first game but i'm hoping it works better in this one and hey we've still never lost a premier league game at chelsea which is pretty insane so the invincible record is still alive first game of the year we'll see how much longer we can last without losing a game i mean it's bound to happen at some point just hopefully not today now jackson over to foden foden has pogba pogba's in pogba could score. Okay, Pogba's hit the post three times now in this one episode. How more unlucky can a player get? Enzo, oh, can't get it back to Jackson. That is just so unlucky, though. Okay, this is a... Whoa, whoa, whoa. Why is Duran so free there? We are already 1-0 down to Villa. Yeah, he's just wide open. Just a simple ball through and, like, everyone's asleep. Okay, I'm starting to see some things I don't like to see this season. Just where is the intensity at? To be fair, we definitely could have scored the first goal of Pogba. It's very unfortunate, though. Instead, they score first. Pogba gets it over to Enzo. Enzo is looking to make it 1-1, but that shot is be blocked. Pogba to Foden. Foden, it's weird. Foden me on the right wing. It's so different. I'm so used to him being on the left. Enzo Fernandez. Good shot. Good save by the keeper, though. Come on. Tie this up immediately. Tie it up immediately. That's going to fall. Jackson gets it out. Okay. Get it over Caicedo. Oh, Caicedo's going to lose it. Okay. Let's try this again. Foden. Oh, we had Nkunku there. Enzo. Oh, Pogba's so free, though. Okay. There's chances there. We just got to take him. We will score a goal soon. I can feel it. Jackson. Reese James. Reese James. We've got crossing options here. Good cross, but again, the keeper, it's too close to him. We got to get that farther out. Now, Pogba into Theo. Hernandez goes for the shot, and that's going to skim the roofing of the net. Okay. After all our attacks. Oh, we just got absolutely cut apart. We are tuned into Villa. After all our attacks, we can't score, and they actually have two this game. And it's the same guy. Bro, we just got cut apart there. There's no excuse. 2-0 down in 27 minutes. Is the invincible record going to end here? After going a whole season unbeaten, are we going to lose the first game of the next season? We've been in this spot before and came back, so I feel like we are going to do that, but it is just still a horrible start so far. Jackson threw to Nkunku. Man, Nkunku is like so out of the game right now. Now, I've used him in the past at left wing, and he was just as good, so I feel like he will come good at some point. And we are just like like a step slow on every single move right now. And Villa are just a little bit quicker than us. Are they going to make it three? That's a shot. Thankfully, Sanchez will make that save. Bro, this is like almost turning into a disaster. The fans are literally booing us. It's been 42 minutes of just pathetic defending and pathetic football. Caicedo gets it out. Oh, he doesn't get it out. Luis gets it to Duran and he's thankfully offside. Oh my, if he would have scored that, if he was onside, that would have been embarrassingly bad. Okay, halftime and our first little chance to defend our title. And we're down 2-0 to Villa. I mean, we're definitely showing Holland that we need him. So at least that's one thing you see in here. Now Reese James into Pogba. Pogba, chance to shoot. Pogba with the with the long shots. Okay. I'm, I'm going to start Pogba Cam this year, I think. He's playing too good not to start. Gets us back in the game 2-1. Oh, man. Outside the box. Outside the boot finish. Okay. That is just disgustingly good. Okay. 2-1. We have a little bit of life. Pogba into Foden. Now leading the attack. This time with his passing. And Foden's in Foden. 
Please score that. Foden will score and it's 2-2. Two, two. And hey, we're not done yet. We're going right back to the halfway line. We are trying to win this game. Okay, Pogba scores and then he assists, leading the team back into this game. That is a, in less than 10 minutes, it's 2-2. Two, two. That is a very quick turnaround, but honestly, that's why we went invincible last year. This team is known for that. It's always feeling like we can come back in any game. Foden, Pogba into Reese James. Now Reese James, man, Chambers just destroyed him. Well, we got momentum though. This is our game now. Enzo into Christopher and Kunku. Okay, that was a good challenge. Who is Feeney? That was a very good challenge. I don't even know who some of these players are. Okay, that ball is very good. But Fofana, okay, Fofana. I mean, you know what? At least it stopped that attack. And uh, the ball goes out, actually. It is unorthodox defending, but you know what? It works. Jackson, two Nkunku. Nkunku, chance for a finesse shot. Oh, that was a good shot by Nkunku. Just a little bit too much power on it. Okay, we're getting closer, though. Bogba plays it to Christopher and Nkunku. Cross over to Foden. Foden. Okay, he's not going to reach that one. I could probably guess that, but gets it right back into him. Foden. Okay, Christine. That's a good tackle. Is it Christine or Christine? I think it's Christine. Pogba, Enzo, Enzo. Okay, Enzo like froze there, but he made a good steal, but it goes right back to Willick. Oh, that ball went through. He actually left it. Please don't let him score that. Please. Okay, Fofana, thank you. All right, Broya on for Jackson. Jackson hasn't really gotten into the game much. It just highlights that we need to sign a striker, and Buendia almost just gave Villa the lead again. James to Foden. Now, Broya does make a little slight run there. Gets it to Pogba. Oh, man, Pogba was a little behind there. Pogba to Nkunku and now Broya you might have space here Broya needs a good first touch it's not bad oh man Foden was there oh man I didn't trust Broya to continue the run but he shoots this time and it's right at the keeper we got not a lot of time left now we got six minutes Foden good first touch Foden always oh, gonna lose to Douglas Luiz man our players have been like getting pushed over this game physically they'll have played very physical come on don't let him score a winner here Miller oh Miller made such a good read there but it bounces right back to him thankfully Broya cleans it up all right three minutes and they are coming right back at us oh no 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 okay Miller just maybe save the game right there. And they are all over us to end this game. Fofana could tackle. Can we get the ball out? Fofana. Oh, no. It's going to fall. Miller. Oh, my. It's actually Enzo. Enzo Fernandez just saved the game. Corner in. Are we going to even get a chance here? Oh, it's going to be out by Foden, but right to them. No. They get the final chance of the game. And good tackle. No, good. Oh, it's going to fall. Sanchez saves it. I can't even see the ball. I don't even know how they got this shot off. Okay, last chance of the game. Header right to Sanchez. And that is full time. Okay, at least we didn't lose. But drawn against Villa on opening day, that's not a good result. We definitely look like uh, we got some early season rust going on. But at the very least, we did make the comeback. All right, Holland is still making his decision. He's currently meeting with other teams. So we are once again just left in limbo waiting for him. Desperately waiting for him. Now we play against a newly promoted team in Cardiff City. And after that first game, I'm a little bit nervous, but we're facing Cardiff. Come on. We got to be Cardiff City. Get our first win of the year. So wearing the away kits for the first time. And I need to see some improvement in this team. Now, is this a game where we show we're actually the same champions as last year? Because right now, first two games of the season, we have not looked like it. Okay, Sanchez gets to that. Again, our defense looks so shaky right now. And case in point, Miller has to block that. And we prevent us being down 1-0 again against an inferior team. Hernandez gets Gets it to Jackson. Jackson slides it over. Gets it to Pogba. Pogba will try to find Jackson. He does. Jackson over to Christopher and Kunku. Okay, that was the Chelsea we know right there. And Kunku goal, and that was just worked beautifully. I mean, this right here was Pogba. Jackson, then Nkunku is beautiful. Okay, 1-0, much better start. And it's also good to see Nkunku score. Like, he, he should be good on left wing, like, just as good as he was at striker. So it's nice to maybe see that this game. Hernandez gets it to Pogba. Hernandez has done well this game. Now Pogba, oh, I was looking for Jackson. Did not think that ball would get through. Patience got us a shot with Enzo. Then maybe Foden. Foden. Finesse shot by Foden. Keeper barely saves that. Okay, we are indeed looking slightly better this game. And Kunku just got literally destroyed. Caicedo long shot. That's going to fall to Caicedo again. And we're right back in it because Nkunku shoots and it goes over the net. Now, that was a little bit chaotic. Oh, this is dangerous. Hernandez can't catch up. And Cardiff will score the first or their first goal of the game. Bro, I don't know who this Hurst guy is, but you're telling me he's the he's that much faster than Hernandez? Because Hernandez could not even catch up here. Ball gets through. Center back's out of position, but Hernandez has no chance to catch up. Okay, it is 1-1. I do not like to see that. Pogba, can you tie it up again? Okay, outside the boot from Pogba. Oh, my. Paul Pogba. His shots are insane. He might have the best long shots I've ever seen from a player. It's over because time and time again it's just so deadly now hernandez has jackson we cross to jackson okay that's not what i wanted there at all i was aiming for jackson we got a free kick out of that okay i'll take it i guess okay this one is going to paul pogba i think his free kicks are a little bit better than Nkunku. so pogba free kick spot all oh, pogba's now hit the crossbar slash post four times in one episode what have i just seen you know we break and Kunku has pogba pogba plays it back to Nkunku. and Kunku, it's got to be you here it's got to be you to stop okay he barely stopped in time there got it out to enzo not the pass I wanted. Enzo, what was that shot? That was actually so bad. Enzo, out to Reese James. We have crossing options right now. Reese James, pick out your cross. Okay, that went to the right spot, but no one attacked it. That's so unfortunate. Pogba into Nkunku Nkunku. Okay, 
That was a foul. If Nkunku goes down there, that might be a penalty. Oh, this is bad. Okay, Enzo. That is a great tackle. And then Reese James, also another good tackle. I like the, at least the aggressiveness. Okay, this might be our last chance. The first half, Pogba over to Christopher Nkunku. I didn't want him to take it first time shot with his left foot. Or at least not in that manner. Okay, we are looking a bit better, but that one goal by them has pretty much ruined that first half. Okay, Enzo, we're going to try and time around with Nkunku. I think we did. Nkunku is in. Nkunku gets to it. Tries to go for a little dink, and that actually goes in. Okay, is that Jackson's goal? That right there was beautiful, though. Enzo to Nkunku, then all the way to Jackson. Okay, 2-1 to Chelsea. Now, I actually went for a chip shot with Nkunku here, but I think it almost looks like a cross because it gets over, and then Jackson gets a foot on it. I think it was already going in, though. I think Jackson just stole Nkunku's beautiful chip. He did. I mean, hey, it's a goal. I'm not going to care, but that was absolutely beautiful. Okay, this is immediately dangerous, though. Miller, Miller, Hernandez, Hernandez can't get it out. You got to be kidding me. Oh, you got to be kidding me. They're going to score. Sanchez makes the save instead. Now, Pogba to Nkunku. Man, the long passes to Nkunku have been insane this game. Nkunku to Jackson. Jackson will shoot, and Nicholas Jackson puts it wide. Oh, I thought he'd score this. Left-footed shot, and he just sliced it wide. Odin to Enzo, into Jackson. Jackson tries to get it back to Enzo. Enzo, good first touch. Enzo will shoot, and Enzo will score. Okay, Jackson just made up for that miss with that great assist. We're looking a bit more like ourselves this game. 3-1. All right, Lavi on for Caicedo, then Foden off for Javi. Let's get a Foden some rest. Hey, okay, I don't know where this space is coming from. Thankfully, he puts that shot wide. It would have scored that. I would have been so mad. Because if they make it 3-2, there's going to be a game again. 3-1, though, it's pretty safe. Oh, if they score here, I'm going to be so mad. If they score here, I'm going to be very mad. Hernandez, Hernandez, great defending from our new uh, star left back. And we do survive that missed place pass right there, though. Pogba Jackson, Jackson, good first touch. Javi, the now 16 year old wonder kid. Ball is in. And okay, Javi has somehow scored that. Hey, he's no longer five foot five anymore. He's five foot nine. And like I said, the now 16 year old wonder kid scores. And I didn't think he'd get this, but Nicholas Jackson was actually a great cross from him. And then Javi just gets to it first. All right, 78th minute, 4 1. That's actually turned into a pretty decent win, I think. Defensively, still shaky, but you know what? It's a, it's a game where we look more like ourselves. Oh, they're trying to go in back for Fauna. Good defending, though. Okay, that's much better defending from our two center backs. I do like to see that. Okay, Cardiff are still trying. They got the fight of a newly promoted team, and they're going to get one back again. Ball in behind, cross in. It's a weird touch in the that player, I guess he decided he had a better chance to shoot. Okay, the scoreline is 4-2. Defense still needs a lot of work in this new system, but at least this will be another solid win, or at least the first solid win of the year. And hey, we still remain invincible at two games into this season, so I guess that's another good thing. Okay, a few days later, we're at home in the backyard with Fergie, and as we're outside, we get a notification on our phone, and it's Fabrizio Romano reporting that Erling Holland has narrowed his choices down to Real Madrid and Chelsea, that in a week's time, Holland will make his decision. We basically have a 50-50 chance of signing Erling Holland, which him and this team would be insane. Now, he'd probably take most of our budget, but we can afford Holland. This is a real possibility. So this could be our final game before we make the biggest signing of our time at Chelsea. So two games in, we're in eighth place. That is not good. And a win here would get us up to maybe fourth. But so far, United Liverpool Arsenal all unbeaten. Three games, three wins. I knew United looked good in that community shield, so I'm not surprised they're in first. Now, I think this game, I want to give Javi the start. He scored in the last game, so Javi, the 16-year-old wonder kid now starts. I think other than that, I keep everything the same, so. And the invincible record is still intact. Now, if we can get a clean sheet this game, it'd be very nice. Nice. We've not had one yet this season. Three games, no clean sheet. I mean, it's not like we've had a lot in this series, but you know what I mean. Now, once again, the shadows are messed up on this field. I don't know why or what causes this, but the shadows are a little bit messed up. A little bit is an understatement. They're very much so messed up. Pogba through to Phil Foden. Now, Jackson has space here. Jackson will get to the header, but oh, man, I think the cross is a little bit too high for him. If it was lower, I think he has a better chance of scoring that. Now, Nkunku driving forward, goes for a shot and adds too much power on it as well. Okay, this is a good chance for them. Sanchez makes an amazing save, though. Cross in. That is out by Foden. It will be out by Jackson as well. And against teams that we should not be looking this defensively weak against, I feel like we are looking very defensively weak. Like Villa, Leeds, Cardiff. We should look stronger against this team. Foden gives it to the star of this team right now, Pogba, and it's going to go right to the keeper. And Ollie Watkins gets it out once again. Look what I'm saying. We just look so defensively fragile right now. I mean, we're definitely missing that third center back, but I feel like it shouldn't cause us to be this defensively shaky. Jackson gives it a Foden, Foden. Okay, we try to play it back to Jackson. That's handball, though. Fofana gives it to Pogba, Pogba gets it over to Jackson. Okay, he was just destroyed right there. Once again, dangerous spot for Leeds. No one's marking the man in the middle, and it's going to be 1-0 no to Leeds. I mean, is it as simple as that we're missing that third center back? I feel like it's not that simple. We just look so much worse. Like, Caicedo is right there, and he's not marking him. Caicedo is standing at penalty spot, and he's not moving. I guess I got I got to take control of Caicedo myself and do that. That is one thing I hope in uh, EAFC that they've worked on is midfielders actually like marking defenders. That is one of the biggest annoying things about this game. No matter what tactics you have, what instructions, your CDMs, it is always the same to not mark players in your box. And Kunku into Enzo. Okay, Enzo was going to get that, but he's got shoved. Gets it out to Javi. Javi will go for a left-footed shot, and it's going to go just wide. Reese James, Pogba. Let's try to get a closer shot. Pogba, good dribbling. Reese James, beautifully done. 
Tracks it back. Oh, Javi was going to be right there. Somehow Aronson got that. Javi was going to be so open to the penalty spot. Bowden to Reese James again. Reese James, Nicholas Jackson might have space here. Jackson goes for a... I didn't tell him to go for that. I mean, I guess it was blocked, so I'll take that. Corner in. Didn't look that bad. Come on, tie this up in Kunku. This is your angle. This is where you always score from in Kunku. Drives through, and oh, the keeper's going to save it. I could have passed it. I trusted in Kunku, though. Cross in. Looks good, and that's going to fall right to the keeper, and that's probably halftime. Okay, the invincible record is in danger again. This is a good move. Oh, they get it over. They're getting it over, and I can't even see the ball when Watkins scores. Okay, that time, the shadows, I literally could not see the ball. 2-0 down once again, just like uh, against Villa. Yeah, they literally shot it between my center backs. I couldn't even see the ball there. Okay, 49th minute, we are down 2-0. There are some uh, panic signs going off, though, this season to start, because we do not look as good. Oh, that ball is insane. Dan James in. Sanchez, what a save. That might have saved the game, saved our record right now. Oh, man, Dan James in again. This time, Sanchez will not make the save. We are 3-0 down. Is this going to be our first? First ever Premier League loss. How is Dan James getting through that easily? I don't know. He is pretty fast. Okay, we got about 30 minutes to try and save our record now. Pogba. Oh, Pogba just got Dan James just stole it from behind of Paul Pogba. You gotta be kidding me. Pogba out to Nkunku. Okay, we got space here. Nkunku, I need you to run. Get it over to Jackson. Jackson in front of goal. We'll score. Okay, 3-1. Do we have a chance of making another comeback? Jackson, grab the ball, please. Doesn't want to grab it. Okay, boys, get back to halfway line. 30 minutes. All we need to score is two goals tied up. We have a chance here to do what we've done before. Make a comeback, an insane comeback. Although we shouldn't be in this spot to begin with. Pogba out to Foden. Once again, space is there. Foden gets caught up though. Foden. Okay, we need to pass. Actually, Foden has a chance for finesse shot. Foden. How is that finesse shot so bad? Bro, Foden's finesse shots are not this bad. He just literally hit it to the right. Oh man, they might seal the game. Nope. Mark Roca sends it over the net. We still have a chance. But we only got now about 20 minutes. And we get one. Just to give ourselves a chance. Caicedo, good dribbling. We'll get it out wide to Christopher and Kunku. Now wait for Hernandez. Hernandez actually get it to Javi Javi. Back. I say though, to Nkunku, is he offside? Oh, he's offside, isn't he? Man, I didn't actually want that to go to Nkunku to begin with. But here he is now. Nkunku gets it over to Javi. Javi shoots, and the keeper is going to make the save. That was such a good chance. Come on, Foden, find a corner goal. I need one right now. Foden, I need a corner goal, and Fofana actually has it. Okay, we got like 12 minutes. Our invincible record is not dead yet. Okay, Fofana might be a new threat from corners. We got 12 minutes to save the invincible record. All right, Foden is tired, so uh, Madawake on Foden, and then uh, Enzo on for Javi. Well, I know we can get this. Okay, that's a great free kick. Sanchez just ran that man over, though. I guess it's clean. Okay, now Madawake has a lot of room to run in here. Madawake, if we get a pass here. Oh, Pogba. Oh, gets him out of Wake. Okay, I can't even see the ball, bro. The shadows are horrible. Hernandez steals it, but it's going to be a foul. Oh, that's going to fall. Thankfully, that's foul on them. Okay, we got six minutes. We can score this equalizer. I know we can. Okay, Enzo is driving forward. I don't see a pass here, though. Enzo gets it to Pogba. Pogba, chance for a finesse shot, and Pogba sends it over the net. Some of our shots today have just been like, like miss hits, like not even striking the ball cleanly. Oh, man, is that going to be it? Our record is on the line. Come on, win the ball back. We have a chance. Oh, no. They might steal it here. Mark Roca gets it over. Come on, shot. Sanchez saves us, but we got four minutes added on, actually. Okay, we got time. Four minutes added on. Come on, clear this corner and then have a counterattack. Come on, get that. Get that. Okay, we got it. Now, just run. Long but Enzo, we got space and time here. Christopher and Kunku, good first touch. Lays it off. Oh, no. I wanted that to go to Jackson. Oh, that's going to be it. That's our first ever Premier League loss as Chelsea manager. I didn't want it to go to Matawake there. I wanted to go to Jackson. Okay, I mean, we weren't going to go invincible again all season, so it had to end at some point. It ends against Leeds. But what I'm most worried about is our start to the season. We do not look anywhere near as good as last season. And while Teo Hernandez looks like a pretty good addition, this team just absolutely needs a starting striker. And next episode, we get Erling Holland's decision. So if you enjoyed, drop a like, I'd appreciate it. I'm on screen is a video that you might like. And as always, hope you guys have a great day.